Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ant. So we are back in Panda Park in Planet Zoo's career mode. So we have got the bronze and the silver stars, but we need to get the gold stars. So we need to get at least 18 species in the zoo, which is where we left it off last time. We've got a lot of visiting players straight off, don't we? What's this? The feeding station cannot be reached because it is floating on top of a thing. That makes sense. Let's move that, shall we? Put that there. Can that be reached? And it's created a weird little overhang, but I'm pretty sure it can be reached now, which is the main thing. Okay, cool. So we fixed one problem straight away. Go us. So we need... Oh my word. Fighting due to overcrowding. I mean, I can't really... I'm not going to get rid of a panda, am I? So... So what are the alerts? How do you know from here? Is, is it this thing? Is it this one that this one's miserable? Is that what it's saying? Where even is it? Oh, how did he get in there? Is he stuck? I think he might be stuck. Like, how else would he... Is there a way to just move them? Yeah. Can I just move you in there? Because, yeah. Okay. Another problem solved. Perfect. <laughs> right, we saved a panda's life. So we need to increase... Oh, what's going on now? Oh, okay, that's fine. Yep, he's been injured, but the vet is on its way. So we need more animals, and we can also do cross-habitation between the animals. So we've got some crocodiles down here, or are they? Are they alligators? How do you just know what the... Is it a gharial? Is that the name of the animal? Gharial, yes, okay. So how do we know easily... Is there some way of knowing whether they, without going, I suppose we'll have to go to each individual species, and it's down in enrichment, isn't it, I think? So it's say down there if they could. So the garials are no good. What if we actually just go through our list of species here, so make sure we don't miss any. So the giant tortoise. Where are the giant tortoise? They're just down here in this fairly small area, but I suppose it's a giant tortoise, so well, how much does it need, right? And again, it has no... Uh, the tapir... has no... mixed species enrichment. The pangolin has no mixed species enrichment. The warthog does have an interspecies bonus. It is already in a paddock with another species though. So it already has that interspecies bonus. So does the warthog or the sable antelope support any others? Where's the zoopedia? Uh, sable antelope. It would be nice if you could just come here and just sort of... There's like a little search bar at the top or something, I think, because there's quite a lot to scroll through sometimes. Be nice if I could just search for antelope rather than having to go down to sable antelope, for example. Uh, here we are. Species data, is that what I want? Into species enrichment. Wow, okay, so it can, can actually have a few others. The common ostrich it can also share with. So I'm assuming the warthog can also share with the common ostrich. It can indeed. So maybe we could get a couple of ostrich in there. It's a fairly small area, but we could give it a go. I suppose, do we already have any common ostriches is the... Uh, we do not. Can we get any common ostriches? Pangolins, warthogs. No, we cannot. Well, that solves that little problem then, doesn't it? Okie dokie. So back to the zoo animals. Uh, we've already done the gharial, the, that'll be in a, a small thing. The pandas, I'm assuming the pandas don't have any interspecies, no. The 
giant snail will be in a little thing, won't it? So that won't have anything. Not the greater flamingos. They seem like they would. Nope. Uh, the macaques. I don't imagine the macaques would. No. The okapi has zero food enrichment, though. So it has no multi-species, but I will actually deal with that while we are here, because that's fairly bad, isn't it? Let me just think. It's habitat, isn't it? I'm an idiot. Habitat, enrichment, food enrichment. And we need to filter for the... I don't do it here, do I? Do I? I don't think so. It's going to get rid of that. And we're going to filter it properly. Just see if only the one thing comes up again. See, again, it'd be nice if there's some way... I've just done something there, because I just typed in OK. It is just... Oh, so you can just search there. That's useful, then. But let's put down one of these first. Let's get rid of this. Uh, where am I going to put it? Where is the viewing area? Over here. Let's just pop that down there, then. Right. So we got down to the Ocopies. So we have red pandas. Nope. The sable antelope we have dealt with. And that's going to be another... Uh, okay. So do we have any empty enclosure? We need another two species. They're fighting. I mean, I don't know what... Has he got stuck? He's sort of half in, half out of the wall. I don't think the space is that much of an issue. I think that panda is just freaking out. Is it the same one from before, I wonder? It is, isn't it? I might just... Do you know, I might just get rid of it. I might just get rid of it. It seems to be having problems. Uh, let's just release it to the wild. Yep. Off you go. You are never happy. You are now gone. So is there a way of seeing our habitats from within here? I'd like to know if we have any empty habitats, but it's not really going to tell us, is it? And I don't really know an easy way of figuring it out. I imagine we don't, then. That's all crocodile, isn't it? Oh, that's the flamingo. Oh, there's a wall under there. Okay. So let's have a quick scout around and just see if we can see any empty habitats that we can easily use. You could always, I suppose, make like a little one over here, perhaps. Or up here, there's a bit of a space for one, actually, isn't there? You might say it's sort of a custom-made space. And then we've got the pandas over there. Yeah, okay, so we've got these, these sort of spaces here and here, which are set up for something, aren't they? So let's put one down here. Uh, I don't know what we're going to be doing, actually, so let's have a quick look. It'd be nice, oh, I mean, it'd be nice if there's some way of saying, do we have any? Do we have any giant tortoises? It doesn't say. So it'd be nice if you clicked on something and it's like, well, you've already got the Aldebra giant tortoise. Which I'm pretty sure we do, but it'd be nice if it says. We have black wildebeests. I don't think we have any black wildebeests, do we? We do not. So we could get a couple of black wildebeests then. Why have they got exclamations? I think this is about to run out. I'm not sure. Let's adopt three black wildebeests. And we shall put the three black wildebeests down here. So what kind of barrier do we want for black wildebeests? Um... Oh, that's interesting. You can have a barrier, but where a barrier isn't needed, for example, for swimming animals. That's interesting. Interesting. Um, I don't know what resistance grade we need. See, this is all the other stuff we're learning. So if we go back to animal storage, how do you know... There's no real way of seeing there what its resistance grade is. So I have to go to the Zoopedia... I have to find Black Wildebeest and then I have to figure out Grade 2. 
It needs 410 square meters, which I don't know if it's going to get there, but this is where it's going to be. So it only needs grade two. So we could just use the wood logs, which are a nice kind of... Uh, have a nice effect to them, don't they? Let's use the logs. Try and keep those lights inside the... Or outside the barriers, I should say. Gonna get a little trickier over here as I cannot see much of anything. I've got close to clipping the path, but it's okay. I think I did clip a light a little bit, but that is also okay. There we go. Right. So we have some wildebeest. If we put in some. Uh, should we just do the one way, uh, the two way glass? Yes. How do I just say yes to that? There we go. So if we do some there and then we do some over this side as well. Perfect. Okay. Let's put in a door. We'll put that in over here. And we're largely good to go, aren't we? Let's bring the wildebeest out of there. I don't know. Does it say how much space this has? Must do 2,400, which is loads then. That's perfect. Uh, what do we want? We want the animal trading. We want animal storage. Let's move. And let's move that one. So they probably won't be all that happy to start with, but it is a start. So that's 17 species. We need one more species. Now these can cohabitate, can't they? Yes. I wonder if we can get any Springbox or Thompson's Gazelle. Let's make sure we don't have either of those. Springbok or Thompson's Gazelle. All the way down, we have neither of those. Can we get some? Uh, Springbok. There are no Thompson's Gazelles in the list, though. Uh, there is no Springboks either, actually. Okay, that's mildly annoying, isn't it? And I'm guessing these aren't entirely happy right now either. Not not particularly, no. <laughs> what else can they share with? Ostriches we can't do. I was trying to pick something which was small. Maybe we'll put as few as... Can we get zebras then? I don't really want buffaloes. I think they need a lot more space. Not stored. Was it the African buffalo? It doesn't matter because there's none there. What's the other thing? The zebra, but I don't know what the name of it was now. See, again, if you could just type in... It'd be very, very useful. Plains Zebra. So I don't know why she would tell you to be so... Uh, so keen on doing interspecies mixing when it doesn't seem like the one thing we have which can interspecies mix has any alternative. Seems a little silly, doesn't it? It does class as us having 18 species now, though. So yeah, I don't know what I can really do... What's exhibit trading? Oh, it's that stuff, yeah. We might just have to go for one of those. Just pop one of those down somewhere, because, yeah. It doesn't seem like we're going to be able to get it anywhere sensible, does it? Uh, as in, like, another species. So where could we put down another exhibit? Where are our current exhibits? Uh, we have a rattlesnake, a frog, a snail, and a hairy scorpion. I've never heard of a hairy scorpion. So we could get a boa constrictor and that'd be a nice easy one to do. So let's do that. Uh, fighting for status. That's, you do crack on. Uh, no, what do I want? I want to go into zoo. I want exhibits. I want to know where they are for now. Oh, it's this thing here. I see. Right, cool. 
So there are some either side, and they are all... Yes, they are all full. So that's where our four exhibits are. So where could we pop down another exhibit which would be sensible? Um... Hmm. We could just pop it down over here in this little space, perhaps, couldn't we? Let's get rid of that for now. Ooh, I do like a nice giant centipede. Let's get a giant centipede. That's fine. Uh, habitats? Where do I do exhibits? Small animal exhibits. We can go for the East Asian one as well, actually. Yes, definitely do that then. How do I... Oh my, I forget everything. As soon as it comes to doing anything in the game, I've just forgotten everything. Yeah, see, that's opened it up for... There's a silly bench in the way, but we would have, we would have moved that. It's not quite central, but it's not bad. I'm okay with that. Let's pop the bench down there. Let's move the bin so it's like over here. And then if we go back to facilities and we actually get the exhibit. So I don't think, where is it in there currently? So do I just have to, uh, if I go to animal trade, no exhibit trade in sorry. This one here. Move to here. I'm sure you oh, there we go. Now. Perfect. We'll to make your animals happy. So, so we have 18 species. We do need to have uh, 80. We have to have 90% habitat uh, animal happiness. That's fine. We're very close then. So that shouldn't take us too much. So if we go to animals and we do them by welfare. This giant panda is miserable. This flamingo is for some reason thirsty. I mean, there's uh, a lake here. It is peeing down with rain. It just seems really unlikely it should be in any way thirsty. But, because they're silly. Incorrect sex ratio on the uh, wildebeest, apparently. Oops, sorry, I hit my mic stand. Do need to stop doing that. That's obviously super frustrating. Um... Can't even see the wildebeest. Now there's one. So the social group isn't too happy. I don't know what it would... Oh, it needs a hard shelter as well. And some enrichment. Let's do the enrichment first, because that's nice and easy. That might be enough just to push us straight over. So if we get rid of that, if we just type in wildebeest. So pop one of those down. Let's pop one of those down. Uh, species toy enrichment it obviously needs as well. So let's put down a herb scent thing. One of these rubbing things. And a large ball for them as well. Okay, so it's food and toy enrichment is now full. It does have this social group issue, but it also... Where would it tell us? Looks like you've got everything humming away nicely. Well done. Oh, okay, that has done it then, yes. Ooh, well, it seems that ah, so we do need we need more adults. We've attracted lots, okay. lots of new guests. Let's work on making sure those guests are kept happy. That means making sure they have great views of the animals, lots of places to buy food and drink, and well, lots of places to get rid of food and drink. Toilets. You should think carefully about where to put your guest facilities though. For instance, I should. Don't put all of the food shops in the same place. No. Just look at how the guests are distributed around the park and put your facilities where they'll be needed the most. As long as you remember to pay attention to what the guests are thinking, you'll mm -hmm. soon have a handle on what everyone wants. All right, then. Thanks for that. So. It's not really. A, I mean, the main sort of area is obviously, you know, this sort of loop here, isn't it? There's not a lot of space for us to get anything down. I suppose there's a bit of space here if we got rid of that tree. That might be a good spot. There's already something over there as well, isn't there? So that sort of makes sense, wouldn't it? 
So let's just delete that tree, get rid of that. Uh, let's move this as well for the moment, just out of the way. We'll move this one as well. It shouldn't be in the way, but just in case. So we need a chief beef. So we want facilities. No, we don't. We want guest facilities. We want food. A planet zoo, a themed shop with the chief beef inside. Yes, please. So let's pop that down there. Oh, no, let's not pop that down there. Train modification failed. But down there instead then. We want a cosmic milkshake. I know it said don't put everything in the same spot, but I don't really see the problem with having, oh, there isn't a cosmic milkshake themed one. I don't really see the problem with having a, a food and a drink next to each other. Why isn't it connecting to the path? Put it on the opposite side? Yeah, okay, that works. Straighten it up a little bit. An information center. Now we probably want that quite centralized, don't we? Like near the entrance, I would have thought. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's quite good, I like that. Sort of out of the way, but also right next to the entrance as well. And a toilet block. What have we got here? East Asia toilet large, East Asia toilet small. Planet Zoo. So we want a large toilet block. So obviously it sounds like we don't have any toilets at all at the moment. Um, well, could we fit it in there? I wouldn't mind it fitting in there. Well, we can't get them both connecting. That's the problem. So where else do we even actually have much space for this? I'd like it to be, again, rather central, but I don't think we're going to really be able to get that... Uh... Oop. Managed to get into some weird... Uh... transposing mode. I don't suppose it'll go in there, will it? No. Let's pop it over here, then. It's not quite as central as I'd have liked, but... But there's already a toilet there. Inspector's almost here. Now, yeah. I fully expect you to pass with flying colours. Oh, we could have put something in there. Look as well. There's an empty shop. Didn't realise that. Does that mean there's something over the other side as well? No, that's one of the research things, isn't it? Okay, fair dues. So we could have, yeah, definitely put one of those at least in over here. If we were being particularly clever, we could have placed another themed one down and then reused it again. Or maybe we could even have just copied... Yeah, we could have saved that as a blueprint and popped down another blueprint next to it. Ah, that toilet didn't connect, look. Where's that path? There we go. And let's move this over here. And I'm assuming that's connected there. It doesn't really look like it, does it? Yeah, but I can't do much to... Uh, I mean, it must be. It must be. So we're now waiting for the zoo inspector to do his thing. I don't think we need to do anything about that. I suspect he'll just be here somewhere. We can't actually even uh, see. The wildebeest... Oh, they, uh, mm, hold up. All right, slow everything down a bit. The wildebeests are hungry, probably because they have zero water source. I don't have a food thing either, do they? <laughs> well, I've been really mean to these wildebeests. Okay, food and water. Let's get a large food trough and a water pipe over here. And we'll put in another water pipe as well. I'm putting a small food trough just over there. Why not? So they now have access to that stuff. They also wanted some hard cover, didn't they? I think. A hard shelter, yes. So let's look for that then whilst we're here. Pop 
pop that in just about there. Perfect. So they've got some shelter, they've got some water, that should make them happier. Let's speed everything up a little bit more. What else we got going on? Ah, you can actually see him then. So he's visiting these these uh, habitats, I guess. It's good he hasn't done this one yet. He's just on his way there now, but that's the... Uh... Well, that one only got two. Is that this one? No. Well, that's got no power. It is this one here. This This has got no power, though. Let's just... That's not good, is it? Uh, facilities, utilities, transformer. It's going to drop it in over there. I'm assuming it now has power. <laughs> Animal is starving. Well, there is food there, so the zookeeper should be on their way. Let's call a keeper to the habitat. Animal has escaped. Got an inspector here. Well, that's that thing sorted as well. Vet's being called for the giant panda. That's starving, but they should have food soon. He's still dehydrated, but he's an idiot. Apart from that, I think everything's good. So he's just looking at the new panda habitat. We got a fine because there was a protester, annoyingly. But it's a $500 fine and we've got 240,000. So I'm not too worried, to be honest. Power source inaccessible. I didn't know they needed to be accessible, but okay. So let's make a staff only path. Which we apparently can't get. There we go. A little messy, but there we go. It is now connected up, which is perfect. He is leaving the zoo. Well, she is leaving the zoo. That is why well, she had to walk right past the protesters. Look, I don't know if there's a, a shortcut to speed time up. Let's speed time up. Let's watch the keeper or the inspector disappear. Where are you going now? Hmm? Can you make it? I don't you can change the time. And it used to be you could change the time so you could fix it at a certain certain point. What's this button do? I don't know. What does that button do? So is there anything else we need to do? No, that is it. We need an overall star rating of 2.5. Oh, it's going to be close, isn't it? I mean, it should do it, but it's not going to be healthy. Goodness. Four stars, apparently. I okay. I believe just how much you've come on. Thought that'd definitely be a three. It goes to show, Bernie's got a keen eye for talent. Oh, yes, he does. He's not There's our new wildebeests. Yet. He's got a new job for you. In Canada. In Canada, you say? That you'd best pack a warm coat. Oh, Probably slow that down a little bit, shouldn't I? It's a bit weird. Been wonderful getting to know you, and I'm sure we'll meet again. But in the meantime, good luck. I'm sure we'll meet again in Canada. To be honest, I don't think it's going to take that long. Cool. Well, there we go then. That is. Oh. That there were smiles on the faces of all of the guests. And that's a real testament to the hard work you've put into this place. And if anything, I hear the Thanks, animals Bernie. look even happier. <laughs> Although, in all honesty, it's, it's hard to tell with the pandas. They're so, uh, <laughs> dumb. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, that Linlin's quite the character, though. What's well, oh, another little thing up there, look. Really been a hit with the visitors. You could even say the business is bam booming. <laughs> Nobody would say that, Bernie. Fingers What's crossed. wrong with you? We might even be able to feature pandas at some of my other zoos. Now that you've shown everyone, we know how to cater for their welfare. Well, that would be good. That, that is actually good. Oh, after all, you've become a very capable trainee zoo manager. I suspect there isn't a single task I could throw at you which you wouldn't handle with aplomb. That said, 
I think the next one's gonna be a bit of a curveball. <laughs> so yeah, we just had this this alert come up here that I was looking at. So habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. A keeper has been requested though. This is in the wildebeests again. Apart from that, I think the wildebeests are okay, aren't they? I'm just gonna have a very quick check. If I can see one of them. What's this? Oh, they dead. They dead. They died. Uh, that's why there's nothing in the animal list. I wondered why. All our wildebeests died. Why did our wildebeest die? And why is this thing, why is nobody looking after this either? Cool. I don't think I have enough keepers. I think that's one of the problems, isn't it? Doesn't actually tell us that the wildebeest died in the animal alert though, which you'd have thought it would do, right? You'd have thought it would do. Anyway, so we went downhill at the end there, didn't it? Pretty massively. Creatures dying, starving, dying of thirst. So yeah, I think if we were gonna, if this was our proper zoo, we'd be definitely getting a few more keepers in. I've not seen the pandas eating before. That was very adorable. It's already night. It goes very fast when you got on three times, doesn't it? Cool. Well, anyway, as I said, there we go. That is this level done and dusted. Next time it is off to Canada to see what awaits us there. Hope you've enjoyed this latest part of animals. Blah, 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 blah. Animal zoo, I was going to call it. Nope, nope, nope. You'd hope any zoo is an animal zoo. A human zoo would be pretty terrifying. I don't know. And everything else is just a museum, right? Like if you go to like a gun zoo, that's just a gun museum, right? So yeah, don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do click the like button. Hugely appreciated. Comment, subscribe, all those good things. Don't forget I stream on Wednesdays and it'd be wonderful to see you there. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Planet Zoo which I almost called Planet Coaster, but I've managed to refrain this time round. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.